Look at the world map. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean, there's the Philippines. More than 7,000 islands like pearls scattered across the sea. But the true wealth of the country is in the blood of every Filipino. For generations, we've asked, where did we really come from? The answer is in our DNA. Today, we journey into the core of our identity, guided by the map etched into our genes. Imagine our DNA as a library of ancient books, each telling a story of our ancestors' journeys and triumphs. Thanks to groundbreaking research, we're finally learning to read these stories. Scientists are uncovering discoveries that are changing what we know about the Filipino people. The story of the Filipino is one of movement. Brave seafarers crossing oceans in Balangay, meeting and mixing with other peoples. Dr. Lorena, a leading geneticist, says, The Philippines is a crucial piece in the puzzle of human migration in Asia. Our islands became a crossroads, where waves of migration converged, creating a rich genetic tapestry. From Luzon to Mindanao, our diversity is as varied as our dialects and food. As we peel back the layers of our genetic history, we discover a deeper connection to each other and to the story of humanity. This journey is just beginning. One of the biggest stories our DNA tells is about the Austronesian expansion. Thousands of years ago, people from Taiwan sailed into the unknown, becoming the world's greatest ancient mariners. The Philippines became a key destination in this epic migration. These Austronesian migrants are the primary ancestors of most modern Filipinos, bringing language, culture, and genes. Dr. Matthew Goh, a historical geneticist, notes, the Austronesian signal is incredibly strong in the Philippines. Their DNA mixed with those already living here, creating a dynamic population. They traveled in Balangay, outrigger canoes that carried families, plants, and animals, transforming the landscape and way of life. Their journey is a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of exploration. The evidence is in our DNA and our languages, Filipino, Cebuano, Ilocano, all part of the Austronesian family, stretching from Madagascar to Easter Island. This linguistic connection is a living echo of that ancient migration. Our words and our DNA tell the same story. We are the children of the greatest seafarers of the ancient world. The spirit of adventure still lives in us today. How do scientists read our DNA's stories? Through genetic sequencing, decoding the long string of letters in our genes. By comparing DNA from different regions, they reveal how groups are related and where ancestors came from. Recent studies show at least five major waves of migration into the Philippines over 50,000 years. This is far more complex than the simple stories we learned in school. Dr. Maximilian Lorena explains, the Philippines was a central hub for human diversity in the region. Our islands drew people from all directions, creating a unique mix. Some groups, like the Ida in Luzon and Manobo in Mindanao, have distinct genetic profiles, preserving ancient ancestry. When Austronesians arrived, they didn't replace earlier peoples, they mixed with them. This admixture happened differently across the archipelago, shaping our diverse genetic landscape. DNA gives us a new, unbiased source of history, written in our own biology. It lets us hear the voices of ancestors who left no written records. As more Filipino groups are sequenced, we fill in the blank pages of our history. Our story is richer and more complex than we ever imagined. Long before the Austronesians, the Philippines was home to the Negritos, the first modern humans in the archipelago, arriving up to 50,000 years ago. Back then, lower sea levels connected many islands to mainland Asia. These early pioneers were hunter-gatherers, adapting to the tropical environment. Their DNA is the oldest genetic layer in the Philippines, a foundation for all later migrations. Negrito groups like the Ada, Agta, and Batak are among the most genetically diverse populations in the world. Isolated for tens of thousands of years, their DNA preserves ancient signals lost elsewhere. Dr. Lorena's research shows Negritos are direct descendants of the first islanders, a living time capsule. When Austronesian farmers arrived, they mixed with local Negritos in some areas, while others remained isolated. Today, many Filipinos carry a small but significant percentage of Negrito ancestry, a hidden signature of prehistoric encounters. This challenges old models of history, showing cooperation, exchange, and intermarriage. The legacy of the first Filipinos is a vital part of our identity. 
Our DNA story doesn't end with Austronesians and Negritos. The Philippines' location made it a hub for trade long before colonization. Merchants from China, India, and Arabia brought goods and their genes, leaving subtle traces in our DNA. Then came colonization. Spanish rule for three centuries, followed by the Americans. Intermarriage introduced European and American DNA, especially in certain regions and families. While the average Spanish ancestry is modest, its cultural impact was enormous. The American period added new layers to our genetic mix. Today, globalization and migration continue to diversify the Filipino gene pool. Our DNA is a living chronicle of adaptation and resilience. Each generation adds a new sentence to this epic story. One of the most mind-blowing discoveries in Filipino DNA is the ghost of the Denisovans, an ancient extinct human species. Discovered in Siberia in 2010, Denisovans lived across Asia and interbred with modern humans. Filipino Negrito groups have the highest Denisovan ancestry in the world, up to 5% in some, like the Ida Magbukon. This suggests the Philippines was a hotspot for interaction between modern humans and Denisovans. The islands were not empty, they were home to other kinds of humans. Multiple interbreeding events likely happened across island Southeast Asia. The Denisovans themselves were diverse, and the Philippines may have been one of their last strongholds. Some Denisovan genes may have helped our ancestors adapt, boosting immunity or surviving new environments. This ghost from our past may have given us a genetic gift that still exists today. The Denisovan story redraws the map of ancient human history, placing the Philippines at its center. Our species did not evolve in isolation. The journey into our DNA reveals a story more complex and fascinating than we ever knew. We are descendants of pioneers, mariners, traders, and even extinct human relatives. The Filipino is a beautiful mosaic, a testament to humanity's journey. Our diversity is our strength. Research is just beginning. Scientists are sequencing more individuals from over 100 ethnic groups. Each new genome is another lost chapter found, mapping how the Philippines was populated. This research can improve health leading to better, more, personalized medicine for Filipinos. Our DNA story mirrors the human story, migration, mixing, and adaptation. The Filipino experience teaches us that our histories are deeply interconnected, woven by ancient threads of kinship. As we explore our genetic code we find that the story of the Filipino is a key to understanding all humanity.